Good day, good people, and welcome back to my channel. Now, today's video, I'm not going to hold you guys for that long, but there are definitely some things I would like to get into. But before we get into all that, if you're not subscribed to this channel, hit that subscription button, hit that notification button and bell so you can be notified every time I'm dropping a video. Hit the like button, hit the share button, and as always, drop a comment in that comment section. Now, let's get to today's video. I'm not going to hold you guys for that long, but there are definitely some things I would like to get into when we are furthering our discussion with this Rachel McQuan passing situation and furthermore, the aftermath that's taken place. Um, I'm not sure if you guys were privy to Instagram earlier today, but once the word was officially released um, from a couple of different friends and sources that were close to the family, Erica Banks decided to take it to her Instagram and make a whole, you know, post about with Tommy Kwan. She had about three or four videos showing, you know, her time with him and even revealed a text message where he said that he always wanted her. And even when she was with other guys, he always thought of her as being his. And, you know, all of that would have been cool and dandy. But then we have Akbar V coming in and basically telling Erica, you need to take this down. This is disrespectful to his family. It ain't even been 24 hours yet. And you make him post like this, like take this down and at least let his family have the room, you know, for a minute. And, you know, at first everyone is quick to be like, you know what, Akbar, you're always in everybody's business, which she is. She is definitely in everybody's business a lot of times. But in the same breath, Akbar was actually telling the truth, and I actually agree with her on this topic because Rich Homie Kwan's releasing of the tape that, you know, the 911 call was released. And when I was listening to it, I said, you know what? This don't sound like no Erica. This don't sound like her. Um, who is this woman that was at this home talking about she was dropping off her son? And, uh, you know, I've known Rich Homie Kwan's music and stuff, but a lot of music and rappers and people like that, I'm not looking into their background because I ain't trying to date them or nothing like that. So I'm not privy unless they really posting these people on their page where I'm, you know, privy to the girl or, you know, something like that. So I wouldn't know. And come to find out, Rich Homie Kwan had a longtime girlfriend who has children with. Um, she was the one who was at the house and just thought that he was sleeping, yada, yada. So it's like, I see exactly why Akbar B said what she said. Like, the brother has not been gone 24 hours yet. We just got the release of the tape. And for you to come out... Now, I, I can't say that she didn't know or that she did know because I'm not 100% sure. But at the same time, I'm pretty sure if you, you know, got that chaotic and was like, you're messing with Amy, you mess... And I understand it can be a storyline or whatever you want to call it. But if you want to, you know, tell somebody you out here doing X, Y, and Z then that's the same thing you were doing. You should have did a little bit of research to see that he had a lady um, that they were sharing the same place of residence, that they have child. Like, what are you doing? So Akbar V was totally correct when telling her to take this post down because it's so disrespectful. And then, like, a lot of people have to be careful because a lot of people were like, well, he knew that she was recording him and blah, blah, blah. I'm going to say this and it's not correct. But a lot of people, I'm sure, who have those sneaky links and the people who they date on the side and stuff like that, I'm pretty sure a lot of them let, you know, the, the girls or the guys record them in thinking that these people are just saving memories of, you know, the time that y'all spent together. And they're not thinking, well, if anything was to ever happen to me, that these people are going to take our private personal moments that we had and put them on the internet. And that's kind of what Erica Banks did. And I know if she's probably really heard about the situation because I'm pretty sure that she probably really cared about him regardless of the situation. But how do you think that his girlfriend and the child feels like in the family? Like you just basically came out, told us all what was really going on and we had no clue what was going on. And if she would have just acted like a friend who was making a post, then that would have been one thing. But that's not what occurred here. 
and it's pretty hurtful. So in this instant, yes, Akbar Beat was totally telling the truth when she told her, you need to take that down, that's disrespectful. And I'm glad that she took it down. It was disrespectful for Akbar to call her little one, but in the same breath, it's like, what you're doing, like really could, you know, result in, you know, I hate to say this, but really bad things. Like, you don't know how that girlfriend's mental is, you the family. Like, what you mean he was, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I don't know if they were cool with it or not, but I'm pretty sure that the girlfriend wasn't cool with it. And she's hearing all this and she's the one who, you know, walked into this situation and stuff and had to make this call. I'm pretty sure that she's not cool with finding out, you know, that he was messing with her when he's had his girlfriend all this time. It was quite disrespectful and it's stunning. And now we're just going to wait, I guess, and see if she says anything or if anything else is going to come out later on. Because as of right now, of course, she's not going to say anything. She's heartbroken. Like her, her man is gone. The child father, the child's father, you know, he's gone. Like there's, there's a lot. And then the way that he left, you know, allegedly, it's going to be like some stuff. Like, you know what I'm saying? And honestly, with him just making posts and on tour and they got his birthday coming up and stuff like there was so many things that were already peeped and supposed to have been prepped up. And then this incident, take him out just like that. Like, it's crazy. Again, prayers to his family, prayers for everyone, you know, that loved Richard McQuan that listened to his music because he definitely gave us a lot of music. But I just want to say, I just... You guys, please just be careful. You don't want your legacy to be tainted because of some unnecessary BS. I wish that Erica Banks would have never got on the internet and said anything because now instead of us really like, you know, we're, and we're still looking at him like, you feel me? He's a dang good artist, his music and everything. But it just putting a little taint in it when we got this situation going on. And now we're trying to figure out, well, was him and his girlfriend together? Was they just living together? What was going on? But we know that if you guys were really together, then those pictures would have went public with him still being here and, you know, with you. It would have been public. It would have been like, that's your dude, just like how you was knowing everybody else you was posting on. You was posting chaotic. It would have been posted. It wouldn't have been no guessing. But this, this is a sticky situation. This is nasty work, man. Posting up that stuff was nasty work. Y'all drop a comment in that comment section. Let me know what y'all think about all of this. I'm going to catch y'all on the next video respectfully.